Hello there, welcome back to the Ogre, the old Git reacts, reviews and off times reminisces. Um, so recently I uh, had a new subscriber, Simon, uh, one of the few, <laughs> uh, who suggested I listen to Infest and their album Slave, and in particular uh, the track Screwed. Um, and so I have, and I think it's um, highly appropriate that uh, on the basis of what he said that I um, do a reaction review to uh, Screwed, and so I will. And here we go. Well, I can get my mouse to work. Bump. Sometimes I seem to forget that uh, back in back in the day, <laughs> that um, lots of things were made in sheds, uh, and I think the case stands here, and it's all the better for it. Um, I don't like polish very much in things, and you know this sort of music would um, would suffer from brightness and polish and um, overproduction or production. <laughs> full stop. Um, so, uh, yes, a nice, a nice reminder of, of, of what, I, what I missed, basically, because uh, although uh, I've heard the name Infest and seen them mentioned, uh, I've never heard them. Um, so it is a, a nice reminder of what, I, what I've been, what I missed, insofar as I haven't heard these, but uh, I'd heard hardcore punk, obviously, back in the day. But it was sort of, punk became more hardcore as I was, sort of drifting drifting away from music mainly through work uh, and not having time to um get involved in stuff and being no internet to keep in in, in touch um so um i mean i was aware of um as i say hardcore bands that i've already listened to and bought things by billions of dead cops and uh, this side of the pond discharge and chaos uk catholic disorder those sort of bands um but um, pertinent to this particular track, um, it started off slow, and of course, as soon as that the rapid rapid bit kicks in, then uh, everything is sweet and light again, and I'm happy. So, yes, delightful. Glorious stuff. Uh, so there you go. Um, infest. So um, as I said, not, not too au fait with a hardcore punk. Um, only the early stuff. Um, but um, even before I set sail to uh, different climbs and, and sort of dropped out of listening to uh, what was new, um, there was a 
for me anyway a clear difference between um uk punk and uk hardcore punk and uk us hardcore punk <laughs> if i kept i'll get it right in a minute um always felt that um on the us side there was a bit more chaos in the riffage uh than there was on on the uk side and that may have might be totally wrong um in with specific examples but in general the, the stuff i heard back then that rings true um however you know i've heard other stuff which i guess um heresy they were quite quite chaotic weren't they in their um on the uk side but nonetheless i think the theme or the point i'm trying to make is that um, the riffage there was quite chaotic compared to the more surging shall we say um hardcore punk on on, on the uk side but both have the merits and uh, we, we all like different things at the same time and so it's just a difference it's not a criticism it's <laughs> i like it so um rough and ready um and I've said before, I don't listen to lyrics. I haven't here. Um, I lost interest in lyrics many, many moons ago. Um, even though they may be relevant and pertinent and, you know, are there to wake you up to certain things. But um, uh, I don't listen. I imagine there is a political edge to this or a social political edge to this. Um, if you like Infest, you already know. Um, but anyway, so... A range of dynamics there it started off slow which um fine you know if you know me by now you know like it sort of rapid from beginning to end and there was a, a you know merely criticism with this would be the dreaded breakdown uh toward in the middle um which again i've said time and time again i don't like breakdowns just keep it swift all the way through for me or it, <laughs> if you are a fast band um but it was short and the rapid um, r sort of roused about stuff uh, elsewhere more than makes up for a little breakdown. What's a breakdown between friends, eh? Uh, so, there you go. Direct to the point and um, very abrasive for the time and even now. So, thanks Simon for that. Um, anybody wants to chuck any more suggestions my way, please do. Um, click your bollocks if you want. Catch you all next time. Cheerio.